I got my start in the music business as a bass player. All through high school and college, I played in bands and then toured full time for two years after graduation. I wanted to stay involved in music, but not have to be on the road so much. So I started a booking agency. I was in Washington, DC. I had half a dozen regional artists and that led to an offer to move to Nashville and work for a major agency. I was representing a dozen artists at that time and doing both national and international booking. I realized though that what I liked most about working with artists was the career planning, the strategizing, the, the dreaming about the songs for the next album. And so I started a small management company where I worked with three artists and uh, coordinated all aspects of their career. Probably my favorite part though was that time of the cycle where you got to go in the studio. And thankfully through my work with labels, I was invited to move to LA, become head of A&R for Word Records. Word at the time was owned by ABC, the television network, and I was head of A&R and released 50 some records. Great to get the experience in the studio and of working with artists to help them really achieve their dreams. Got to start a independent label at the same time called What Records, and it was during that period that I started to work with T-Bone Burnett, Tony O'Kay, Mark Hurd, and others. Then I had the wild idea that I should negotiate a marketing and distribution deal with Epic Records in New York, part of the Sony Music System. And so we moved from LA to New York and had a great time for five years learning that part of the business. We released 250 some records uh, during that period. And it was just the, the capstone really of my music industry education. I was at a, a show one night at CBGB's, the great old club in New York. And I realized, wow, 25 years in, and I've lived in Nashville and LA and New York. I've been a songwriter and a producer and a performer and a booking agent and a manager and a head of A&R and now a VP of marketing. And I really got the desire to pass on some of the lessons I had learned to the up and coming generation. Uh, to do that, I co-founded an artist colony on the island of Martha's Vineyard uh, off the coast of Massachusetts. And the idea was to find the best college age musicians and entrepreneurs in the country and invite them for four months of classes about songwriting, live performance, studio recording and mixing, as well as the business elements, artist management, booking, marketing, record company operations. It was a tremendous experience of hunkering down and trying to help people figure out what they did and how to succeed at doing it.